Hey guys, uh, today I want to do a tutorial on how to paint trees. I did one a couple weeks ago about how to draw trees. This one I want to show you how to paint some silhouette trees. Stay tuned. So, for the support on this one, I'm using a cardboard, cardboard support. Any cheap old cardboard would do. Gesso it up with, uh, I'm using Liquitex gesso. Tape it, tape the cardboard to a, like a wood board. Gesso it all up. Let it dry. Sand it up every so couple hours to make it nice and smooth if you want it, unless you want the texture. And then you, you can keep the texture. The, the cardboards are cheap. They're like 25 cents at any freaking supply store. It's better than buying a canvas panel. Uh, today I'm using liner brushes. Different variations from zeros to twos. Uh, try to use as sharp as you can for the smaller uh, branches. There's my trusted little palette for one color painting. And today, uh, I just want to talk about golden. That's like twelve dollars. The apple barrel. That's a dollar. You can't go wrong with a dollar paint. You, I use liquid, liquid acrylic, because it flows nice. And let's give it a shot. And I'll show you how good this dollar acrylic is compared to the twelve dollar acrylic. So you're going to start out with the basic shape of the tree. Find the, how you want your tree to stand. This one I'm just going to make him right flat in the middle. Perfect for you to see. You want to make the, the trunk of your tree bigger and so it can carry more weight. You got to think of it as an anchor. Then I am just trying to figure out how I am going to have my branches go off. I like to extend them as far as I can while still using the same anchoring system. The way I get really sharp points to my lines is I load the brush up and I start from where I want the end of the branch to go and then I move down into the tree and it creates a nice sharp fluid line as you can see right there and right there and right there I'm very proud of some of my lines on this one and as always pinky it up guys we want to look professional, pinkies up. So now you can just pretty much place branches wherever you want. As long as it seems like it, it's still anchored by your support. As you see, this branch right here is starting to go a little bit too far off of the anchoring. The tree would be laying down more if that was real life so I am gonna fix that and here we go just by adding a little bit more you can see like the weight distribution of the tree is set better I'm correcting some lines and adding some smaller branches If you want smaller branches, just use the smallest brush you have. You'll get nice little sharp brush strokes. I'm 
you just gotta keep redefining your lines, trying to make your lines as clean as possible. Especially with these silhouette trees, that is important because it's just such a high contrast from whatever is behind it, your background. Like you want your lines as nice and clean and sharp and just load your brush up and go for it. Don't be afraid. You gotta have confidence with these lines. You can mess up. It's easy to fix. You just fatten the line. So there's pretty much most of the branches. Time to add some grass to give it a place to sit. I'm just using a cheap uh, hog's bristle brush. I think I can't find them solo. They come in packs at like any art supply store. And I use the same brush for my leaves. I'm going to leave some patches in for the sky seeping through. You just want to go with the flow of your branches that you place. Dabbing here and there, here and there. Loading up, dabbing. You want some nice pigment on your brush when you do this. Layering the brush up to create the illusion of grass. And handy dandy water bottle. As you all know, I love me some drips and they are flowing. I took one of my thin liner brush and I'm just adding some more brushes to fill in where there's leaves so the leaves don't look like they're sitting in mid-air they're actually being anchored down by some branches and a little bit more leaves do 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 dabbly 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 and guys if you want to hit that like button, if I taught you anything, here's some splitter splatters. You just add some water into your liquid acrylic. So I was saying, hit that like button if you learned anything. If you try this out, please post a picture to my Facebook page. Link in the doobly-doo down below. And please subscribe. Here's some more leaves. I hope I taught you guys something. Please go and try it if you want to. And thanks for watching.